the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. In this video, I have a lot of new information and updates regarding House of the Dragon second season. Thanks to a very reliable source, we now have our first look at Cregan Stark, who will be featured in the new season of House of the Dragon. The young man you see in this photo will be the face of Winterfell and House Stark. As you can see by this new headline, actor Tom Taylor has been cast as Lord Cregan Stark in House of the Dragon. Now I'm sure some of you who aren't as familiar with Fire and Blood might be wondering who he actually is and what we will see him do in the show. Well, Cregan Stark, known as the Wolf of the North and later in life the Old Man of the North, was the Lord of Winterfell and head of House Stark during the reign of Aegon Targaryen. He is the eldest son of Lord Rickon Stark, who we already met in the first season when he swore his fealty to Viserys and Rhaenyra. Now, according to Archmaester Gildane, Cregan was a stern and formidable lord. Like many other Starks, he was also a good friend of the Night's Watch. Now, if you've been watching all of my other update videos, then you already know we will see the North and the Night's Watch in the new season. In fact, we will most likely see Cregan Stark at Winterfell and maybe even at the Wall when Jacarys Valerion arrives on his dragon. As you all know, Jacarys Valerion is already on his way to White Harbor, the Vale, and Winterfell in search for allies for his mother Rhaenyra. Now, none of us are actually sure what we will see happen while he's there because there's different accounts on record. According to Grand Maester Munkin, Lord Cregan and Jacarys got along well, as Jacarys reminded Cregan of his late younger brother. After spending time drinking, hunting, and training, it is said that Cregan and Jacari swore an oath of brotherhood. Now, in contrast to Munkin's writings, Septinus Stay said that Jacari spent his time trying to convert Lord Stark from the Old Gods to the Faith of the Seven. Now, Mushroom actually said that Cregan had a half-sister, Sarah Snow, who did sleep with Jacari's, And he also said that an angry Cregan only relented after being told that Jacari's and Sarah had secretly wedded the Godswood of Winterfell. Archmaester Gildane is skeptical of Mushroom's story, however. Regardless, Lord Cregan and Jacari's reached an agreement known by Munkin as the Pact of Ice and Fire. That stated, the future firstborn daughter of Jacarys would one day marry Cregan's son, Rickon. Although I'm not exactly sure which version of the events we will see, one thing I do know is we're going to visit the Wall and the Night's Watch while we're there. Not only that, but it also seems we might see the Army of the Dead this season. Thanks to another leak from the set, we know the makeup artists have been looking at various examples of the undead. Now, whether we actually see them in live action or just a flashback scene is unknown. Whatever happens will be something new added to the story because George R. R. Martin did not have the White Walkers or the Army of the Dead around during these events in Fire and Blood. I can only assume that if we do see them next season, it will most likely happen during Jay and Cregan's visit with the Night's Watch at the Wall. Now I want to move on to some other amazing news regarding House of the Dragon's second season. According to Redanian Intelligence, this will be the final week of filming for House of the Dragon. After months and months of filming scenes for the second season, it looks like House of the Dragon is ready to move on to the next phase. It is amazing news because that means we're now one step closer to the season airing on HBO and HBO Max. I don't know about all of you, but I know I'm definitely ready for the long night to be over. It's already been over a year since we saw House of the Dragon air its first episode. And I have a good feeling this second season will be significantly better than the first and I also can't believe we're finally going to see the Dance of the Dragons in live action. This is something I've dreamed about ever since I first read what happened during these historical events in Westerosi lore. The Dance of Dragons, a true telling by Grand Maester Munkin, being a history of the war of Targaryen succession between the Princess Rhaenyra and Aegon, second of his name, that nearly destroyed the realm. The Dance of the Dragons, a stupid name for a Targaryen civil war where my ancestors danced away my birthright. Before the war, House Targaryen counted 18 dragons, 
By the end, we had two, and nearly as few Targaryens. We would never be as powerful or as feared again. Only last week, we also learned that the name of the first episode for the second season is A Son for a Son. This is from Daemon Targaryen's letter to Rhaenyra in response to the death of her son Lucaris Valerion. Now I'm sure most of you can already imagine what this might mean. It is a direct reference from George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood when Daemon sent this letter from Harrenhal. It said an eye for an eye, a son for a son. Lucaris will be avenged. The first episode of the new season will be setting the stage for a very bloody Dance of the Dragons. Now before I end this video, there's one other thing I have to mention. It now looks like the Writers' Union have finally reached a deal with Hollywood Studios to end their historic strike. This is not only great news for the writers, but also us as fans of television and film. Although the strike thankfully did not affect House of the Dragon, it has certainly affected other shows and films I was looking forward to. The writer's room for Duncan Egg was shut down, as well as any other Game of Thrones show that was still in the early stages of development. Unfortunately, the actors are still on strike, but this new agreement with the writers might help them find a resolution soon. Hopefully, the writers and actors will get what they need, that way they can get back to creating the shows and films that we all love. Now, the writers' agreement still has to be signed off by the Guild's board and members before the strike officially ends, but they're saying that should happen later this week. So it's nothing but great news overall. I'm very excited that filming is almost over, and I'm interested in seeing how well this actor does as the new Stark. Let me know what you think about all this information down below. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching another video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.